Welcome to Learning with Philemon. In this video, we will be looking at stoichiometry calculations involving gases. In the last video, we looked at stoichiometry calculations involving mass. According to Avogadro's law, equal moles of different gases will have the same volume at the same temperature and pressure. For example, one mole of a gas at room temperature, 25 degrees Celsius, and pressure, one atmosphere, has a volume of 24.0 decimeters cubed. This is equivalent to 24 liters. It may seem counterintuitive, but at room temperature and pressure, one mole of helium and one mole of neon both would have a volume of 24 decimeters cubed. At GCC level chemistry, we can apply this to any gas. In reality, this assumption can be made only if the gases follow ideal gas law behavior. For more on this, watch the ideal gas law video. We can use the following equation to calculate the moles of a gas at room temperature and pressure if the volume is known. The moles N are equal to the volume V divided by 24 decimeters cubed per mole. Rearranging the equation, we can also find the volume of a gas if the number of moles is known. V is equal to N multiplied by 24 decimeters cubed per mole. Now let's see how we can apply this to chemical equations. A typical question would look like this. What volume of hydrogen gas, H2, is formed if 2 grams of calcium, Ca, are reacted with excess hydrochloric acid, HCl? Stoichiometry questions usually involve three steps. For a recap on this method, please watch the previous video, Masses from Equations. In the question, we are given the mass of calcium, so we can calculate the moles of calcium using the equation N is equal to M divided by MR. Dividing 2 grams by the atomic mass of calcium, 40 grams per mole, we get 0.05 mole. There are 0.05 moles of calcium. The second step is to figure out the number of moles of hydrogen produced. As both calcium and hydrogen have a coefficient of one, the ratio is one to one. So 0.05 moles of calcium would form 0.05 moles of hydrogen. In the final step, we can calculate the volume of hydrogen gas using the equation V is equal to N multiplied by 24 decimeters cubed per mole. Multiplying 0.05 by 24, we get 1.2 decimeters cubed. Therefore, 2 grams of calcium produce 1.2 decimeters cubed of hydrogen gas. In reactions where all the reactants and products are gases, it is not necessary to convert to moles. Instead, the volumes and the molar ratios are used directly. In this reaction, ethane C2H6 undergoes complete combustion, reacting with oxygen O2 to form carbon dioxide CO2 and water H2O. The volume of ethane is given as 2 decimeters cubed. The ratio between ethane and oxygen is 1 to 7 over 2. Multiplying 2 by 7 over 2, we get the volume of oxygen that is required to react with 2 decimeters cubed of ethane. The ratio between ethane and carbon dioxide is 1 to 2. Multiplying 2 decimeters cubed by 2, we get the volume of carbon dioxide produced. The ratio between ethane and water is 1 to 3. Multiplying 2 by 3, we get the volume of water produced. Note that you would get the same volumes if you first calculated the number of moles of the reactants and products, and then used this equation to calculate the volume. However, the method we have seen is a shortcut that can be used when only gases are present and the reaction occurs at room temperature and pressure. Thank you for listening. To consolidate your learning, try to answer the questions in the description. If you haven't already, please subscribe for more content. Stay curious.